Now then, good evening guys, welcome. Um, so we are starting a little bit earlier today. We're starting a little bit earlier today because um, it is a year um, since we first went into lockdown and there's a, f a few people that want to um, want to commemorate uh, some of the people who have who've died over the last year um unfortunately and there's a candlelit vigil at 8 p.m so we're starting <coughs> excuse me starting a little bit earlier uh so we can get through with, <coughs> get through with that sorry i've just tried to eat an apple before and it's just halfway down my throat i might run and grab a glass of water in just a second but we'll get started. So what we've got today is three mini circuits, okay? Three mini circuits. The first circuit we're actually going to use as our warm-up, which we're going to do sort of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Our second circuit, we up the intensity a little bit, where we work at 40 seconds on with 20 seconds off. And our third and final circuit, we are going to go for it. It's going to be a 10-minute block non-stop, so 60 seconds per exercise, and we're just going to cycle through them bit by bit. Um, now, what we're, uh, what we're going to start off with, guys, again, it is going to be quite bouncy all the way through. Um, as, as usual, what, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and um, demo the exercises during the rest periods. Obviously, on the third circuit, there is no rest period, so I'll be demoing as we go along, and I'll be trying to, trying to make sure you guys are, are able to see that, which means I'm going to be a little bit more knackered than normal. Right, so let's get my timer started. We're going to start off, like I say, our, our little warm-up, really quick warm-up is going to be 30 seconds on, um, 30 seconds off. Our first exercise is just going to be a squat and reach, a squat jack. So what you're looking to do each time, feet together, feet apart, touch the floor, above the head. And it's just that touch the floor on each rep. Make sure you get down each time, okay? So that's going to be our first exercise. So we're going for that in five seconds. Let's get that going. Volume up. Two, one. Off we go, let's go. So we're into that squat jack, so it's touching the floor, hands above the head, straight back down each time. Just that nice bounce into it, dropping in. For anybody who's wondering what's going on in the gym here, um, at the moment, we are having a massive clear out, and this is probably the tidiest area that we've kind of got. Everything else is an absolute mess at the moment. So we're making do. So working through, guys, as we go. Um, let's have a little tap down there. We go. So there's our 30 seconds, 30 seconds of rest now. So during this time, try and go through mobilization. So whether you need a little bit of wrist mobilization, whether it's ankles, whether it's knees, just keep yourself moving is what we're looking to do. So what we're going to come into is a shuffle lunge for 30 seconds. And it's going to be one, two, lunge. One, two, lunge each time. So it's that one, two, lunge. One, two, lunge is going to be our movement. Coming up in a couple of seconds, off we go. Let's go. So that shuffle runs out. Bounce, bounce, lunge. So it's just one, two, lunge. One, two, lunge each time. Again, 30 seconds. So again, use your 30 seconds of rest wisely during this. So obviously grab yourself a drink if you need it. Uh, but as well as grabbing yourself a drink, make sure you're getting uh, loosened up so you can throw in a few different squats. You can throw in different leg swings, light stretches each time. Looking good. So we're going to start to get the core involved. So the next one's going to be three Russian twists on each side. So three Russian twists on each side. So that's going to be one, two, three, followed by three, two, one knee tucks. And then again, just alternating between those two. So three Russian twists on each side, followed by three knee tucks. Okay, so that's going to be our next circuit in three, two, one. Let's go for it. Off we go. So again, three Russian twists, three knee tucks, three Russian twists, three knee tucks. 30 seconds. So we're going to come into a plank walkout. There's an easy version now in the first round, the slightly harder version in the second round. But we'll start off with the easy version, like I said, because it is still the warm up. Let's keep working. Last five seconds of this one. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear the beep, but I'll let you know when to stop even. Anyway, time. Okay, guys, grab yourselves a quick drink again. Next one plank walkout. So you're going to walk yourself out into press up position, drop into a plank. Back up onto a press up, back up onto your feet, and go again. So it's that alternate between them, working your way between those movements. Okay, so we've got seven seconds, seven seconds more. Let's keep working right to the very end. Two, 
one on time. 30 seconds to recover. Next one, last one in the first, uh, in the warm up circuit, although we're going twice round, is going to be a squat and kick. It's going to be a squat and kick. So the next one, guys, it's going to be pulse, pulse, kick. Pulse, pulse, kick with the other side. Pulse, pulse, kick. Nice high kick each time. This should be relatively easy because you are getting plenty of rest, but the intensity goes up in the second and third circuit. Off we go, let's go. So into that squat, squat and kick. So that pulse, pulse, kick, pulse, pulse, kick. So try and kick slightly across the body. Try and kick, kick the leg as straight as your hamstrings will allow. Two, and it's just that one bounce, one pulse before you do that kick on the opposite side. So that's one time round. We're going to go back into that um, squat and reach as your next exercise. Time. Okay, that's 30 seconds to recover. 30 seconds to recover. Go through any extra mobilizations you feel you need. This is what we're looking for. So again, first uh, back to the first exercise, which is going to be that squat and reach, which again is that touch overhead, touch overhead each time. Working between those two positions. Chest down to the, or hands down to the floor, hands above the head. Three, two, one, let's go for it. So again, touch above the head, touch above the head. I was just trying to keep that moving. So it's like almost like a jumping jack combined with a squat, squat and reach type movement. Remember, you only going to go through. I say, remember, I think this might be the first time I'm telling you, you're going through each, uh, each individual circuit twice. So each block is 10 minutes long. Each block is 10 minutes long. Okay, guys, rest, rest. So that's that one done. You're going to come into a shuffle lunge next. So it becomes a one, two, lunge. One, two, lunge. And because you're going into the lunge on the third step every time, because you're going into the lunge on that third step every time, that is going to be a different, uh, you're going to be doing uh, on the opposite side every time. So that bounce, bounce, lunge. Bounce, bounce, lunge. Going in. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're into that shuffle lunge. 30 seconds. Nice and light on the feet. Little bounce, bounce, lunge. It's good. Let's have a look around, around the house and see how we're getting on. It's on that third one, that third bounce, drop into that lunge, spring out, to, uh, spring out of it into two shuffles, and then back down again. So we've got a Russian twist and knee tuck each time. Time. Okay, guys, 30 seconds to recover. Your next one becomes those three Russian twists on each side. So again, one, two, three, followed by one, two, three. That's that. One, two, three. Followed by one, two, three. Those uh, just alternate between those two. Try and get as much twist as you can in, or as you comfortably can in. Going again in three, two, one. Let's go for it. So again, it's that nice twist. What we're looking for. So I can hear a little bit of feedback just through this um, through this headphone that I've got in here. I think somebody just isn't on mute. So just check for yourselves, guys, who's not on mute. And just mute your screen there for me, if you would. That'd be brilliant. That being said, I can only just hear it. So maybe it's not that loud. Five seconds to the end of this one. We're going to go for a slightly harder version of the plank walkout. Rest. So this time for your plank walkout, you're going to start in a plank and you're going to tiptoe your feet backwards and forwards. You're going to stay in the plank position, tiptoe your feet back as far as you can, tiptoe them forward. It's just that creep back, creep forward, creep back, creep forward. You've also got that option of doing the easier version, which we did in the first round, which is that walk out, drop into your plank, back up onto your hands, back up onto your feet. Off we go. Let's go. Good. So I'm no longer getting that feedback coming through. So thank you, whoever that was. Appreciate it. Saves me having to go up and be pressing about on the screen, trying to figure out who it is while I'm trying to do this at the same time. <laughs> Makes my job a little bit easier, so I, so I appreciate that. 
five seconds left in this one. And then you've got your final exercise before we move into the second circuit. Okay, guys, time. Final exercise, again, is that same squat and pulse. One, two, kick up and across the body. One, two, kick. One, two, kick each time. So it's a nice high kick. Trying to feel that stretch through the hamstrings as you do it. Nice and dynamic the whole way through. Try and stay nice, nice and springy. That should be us well warmed up for the harder stuff. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. So that's squat and kick. So squat, one pulse and kick. Excuse me. So it's just 30 seconds. This looks good. Excellent. Some people I see have a table lamp nearby. You know, be careful, don't put your foot through it. Some of you guys will know, I speak from experience, having busted a light in my own dining room during the first lockdown. Time. Okay, guys, recover there. You've got about a minute before we start the next one. So grab a drink, any last, um, any last stretches you feel you want to go into. Anything you feel you need. There we go. That's the next one set up. Um, anything extra you feel you need. Now's the time to do it. If not, just grab a rest. We're going to up that intensity. So now instead of 30, 30, it's going to become 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Okay. So it's 40, 20 this time. So first exercise is going to be a, uh, is, is eight high knees to one burpee. So eight high knees to one burpee. So your first exercise really simply will become just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As soon as you've done eight, chest to the floor, up onto your feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're working between that, between those two exercises as often as you can. Okay, so spring up onto your feet, straight into eight high knees, straight back down into a burpee, trying to get as many rounds in as you can in that 40 seconds. During the 20 second rest, I'll demo what our second exercise is. So let's go. That's close enough to a minute. So let's get ourselves ready. Let's get ourselves ready. So five second countdown starting now. We're going to get going with that eight high knees, one burpee. Let's go. So eight high knees, one burpee. So on the eighth one, that's four on each side. Drop down, spring up, one, two, three, four, um, for eight reps. Now your next exercise is going to be a crab walk. I know some of you have some shoulder issues. You can go for a bicycle crunch instead, but I'll demo that when we get to it. So your crab walk, you can be moving in any direction. Use the space that you've got. You can go forward, back, side to side, spin round in circles, or even just walk on the spot. It's up to you, whatever you've got around you. Almost there, right to the very end. Time, 20 seconds rest. Your crab walk, hands behind you, lift your hips up and move around. So again, you can go forward, you can go back, you can go side to side whatever now if again if you have any shoulder problems it means that's really uncomfortable just swap that for a bicycle crunch yeah that's your other that's your alternate exercise off we go let's go 40 seconds so again hips up off the floor and just keep yourself moving there's no right way or wrong way or right direction or wrong direction i should say you know if you haven't got much room I know some of you guys are training with housemates, with partners um, alongside you. So even if you're just doing that on the spot, that's absolutely fine. You're still using that motion, that shift in your body weight around. This is good, though. So again, we're going to do another hybrid exercise next. So it's a mountain climber and Spider-Man. Time. Okay, guys, you're going to roll over into a press-up position. You're going to do eight mountain climbers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's going to be one Spider-Man on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one. Okay, that's what you're going to go for. Off we go. Let's go. So eight mountain climbers. One Spider-Man mountain climber. The Spider-Man mountain climber, you're bringing your knee towards your armpit as best you can. So again, it's 40 seconds of work, so that level of work goes up a little bit. But also, as well as that, the rest goes down. So there's a 20-second difference to what you were doing in the warm-up round. Like I say, the third one, that's the one that's a little bit more challenging because you're going to go for a full 60 seconds. 
And like I say, I'm going to try and demo um, as we go during that one, so don't worry about that yet. Let's keep working. We're into a low prisoner get up and jump in the next one. So you're going to squat down, down onto both knees, back up onto your feet, and jump. Down onto both knees, onto both feet, and jump. Each time. So it's that down, down, up, up, jump. Going in. Three, two, one. Off we go. If anybody with any knee or ankle issues needs to take the... the um, impact out of it just go for hips low down onto both knees back up onto both feet but don't stand up just take the jump out of it so down down up up some of you guys who have been doing this for a while or those of you that have been for the um classes in the gym will be familiar with the bear squat which is going to be part of the next exercise but again, this is first time round. We're looking good though. Time. So your next one is two press ups to one bear squat. So you're going to go one, two, and that's from there. Bum to your heels, but your knees are still off the floor. Come forward. One, two, bum to your heels. One, two, bum to your heels. Off we go. Let's go. Uh, 40 seconds. So that 20 second rest doesn't feel like much. I would argue it probably doesn't feel like enough. Doesn't feel like enough. This is good work. So at the end of this uh, whole circuit, we're going to go through just a really light stretch. Our uh, club chairman is going to join us just before eight o'clock. And at that stage, I'll finish. Hopefully I'll have got my timing right and we'll be finished on the dot. But if not, I'll cut off and I'll hand over to Gareth at that point. Last couple of seconds of this one. Time. That's one round of that one done. So we're into the we're back to the start again. So hopefully you remember it is eight tinies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight down onto the floor. Straight back up. One, two, three, four, and so on, all the way, all the way up. Forty seconds of work. The second time is the last time. So make sure you go for it. Let's go. Eight tinies. One burpee. Chest to floor, ideally. But of course, if you need alternatives, go for alternatives. Key is to try and work hard during this one. So we have um, a couple of sessions left after this one as well, before the, uh, the 6th of April, which will be our last one. Um, hopefully, everybody will be sort of returning to rugby at that stage. I know touch rugby starts on, on Monday. Um, I believe if you are going to the O2 touch sessions uh, to make a comment in the group chat, hopefully everybody that's on here knows that already. Time, okay guys, 20 seconds to recover. We're back into that crab walk next, and then training um, the contact 15s starts on the Wednesday. So I'm looking forward to that one. So again, I'll work on Monday evening, so I won't get a chance to, to come to touch, unfortunately. I'll do touch. I'll be there in a second if I could. Okay, off we go. So into a crab walk. Forward and back. Good. So again, 40 seconds, keeping yourself moving. You then got your mountain climber and Spider-Man. Mountain climber and Spider-Man is the next one. So again, the shoot for anybody with the with any any shoulder issues, anything that makes that too uncomfortable. Remember, your alternative is your bicycle crunch. So right knee goes to left um, left elbow and so on. So it's that twist twist up across the body. That's what we're looking at. Less than ten seconds left in this set. You then got your eight mountain climbers, two Spider Man. Eight mountain climbers, two Spider Man. That's the next circuit. So, again, just to quickly demo that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's that one Spider Man, knee towards the armpit, back in, knee towards the armpit, back in, and start again. Eight mountain climbers, um, two Spider Man mountain climbers. If you wonder why they're called Spider Man mountain climbers, if you were to look from top down, it would look like a scale in a building. Off we go in 60s style. You feel them, somebody crawling on the floor and just turn the image sideways. Looking good. Just be careful of letting the hips creep up too high on your um, mountain climber. So again, body should be nice and level most of the way through. When you bring your knee towards your armpit, try and keep it nice and high. So you're trying to get it right up towards the top of the arm, the top of the tricep. 
Less than 10 seconds. Let's keep working. You've got your low prisoner get up and jump next. Time, 20 seconds to recover, 20 seconds to recover. So again, low prisoner get up. So down onto that spot, both knees. When you stand up again, explode up into the air. Okay, so that's your, your low prisoner get up with the jump. If you're not doing that, just take the jump out of it. So again, get low through the hips, down to the knees, back up onto the feet and go straight back to the knees. You take the jump out of it. Off we go, let's go. So you try not to stand up at any stage. So it's a little bit more difficult on the quads, on the thighs, but it takes the impact of the jump out of it. Try and land softly on the jump when you come down again. So you're landing into that next rep each time. So you drop into that squat, that's good. Now, if you are going just the low prisoner squat, try and alternate which knee that you go from or which knee that you go to, if you can. 10 more seconds left of this one. You've then got your two press-ups and your bear squat, your two press-ups and your bear squat. Now, what I did forget to mention on the last one, when you rock forward, if you need to, time. If you, when you rock forward, if you need to, you can drop to your knees. So you can do your two press-ups from your knees, but then your bear squat, you lift your knees off the floor and you're back onto your toes. It's just that transition between the two is as smooth as possible. Going in, three, two, one, two press-ups, one, two, bear squat, one, two, bear squat. You're working your way through that one. Looking excellent though, guys. From what I can see whenever the, from the cameras, from the other screens, lots of work going on. Couple of different alternatives being thrown in here and there. Not so much for this one, but a couple of, oh, excellent. Got a pooch on screen, that's always fun. Uh, let's keep working, that always cheers me up. Especially if, they're, especially if they're bothering you in the middle of the workout. Let's keep working all the way to the end and time, 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 time. Okay guys, short rest, let me stop that one. Let me get the timer ready for final one. So that is our second time round. Uh, every minute. Cool. So, can get that one ready. So, the next one, guys, again, is another 10 minute block. Um, another 10 minute block. This time, however, there's no rest whatsoever. So, it's 60 seconds on, zero seconds off all the way through. Okay. So, what I want you to try and do, particularly in the first round, is get a feel for it, try and keep working. And then on the second round, then you're going to really, really ramp up the effort into it as much as you can. So your first exercise, so as always, I'll demo that ahead of time, is going to be a squat thrust and twist. So start now, press up position. It's going to be knees in, knees out, twist. Then it's knees in, knees out, twist to the other side. That's that. That's just that twist each time. When you twist, make sure you keep your hips up. Don't let your hips drop down towards the floor. That is going to be our first, um, that's going to be our first exercise. Okay, so coming up, I'll give you another 30 seconds. So again, grab yourselves a drink now, if, if now is the time. Our final circuit, most intense, zero rest. Going to absolutely go for it as hard as we can. Let's go for it in about five seconds, about five seconds. So let's get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. One, let's go. So again, squat, thrust, and twist. Squat, thrust, and twist. When we get to about um, 20 seconds left to go in each minute, I'll start to demo the next one. I'm just realizing a planning error on my part. I've put one of the ones I struggle to do myself near this one. So it's a jump lunge, and then a forward and back lunge is your next exercise. So a jump lunge and a forward and back lunge. So again, I'll demo that. Well ahead of time, I'll start demoing that now. So you're still doing a squat thrust and twist, but then it's going to be one jump lunge. Then you step forward, step back, jump lunge to swap feet. Step forward, step back, jump lunge to swap feet. Step forward, step back, jump lunge to swap feet. Okay, we're going into that in 10 seconds time. Keep working on your squat thrust for now. So again, it's that jump lunge, step forward, step back. Jump, okay, jump lunge, step forward, step back. Jump to swap feet, step forward, step back. Jump to swap feet each time. So that's what we're aiming for on this one. Next one's a core exercise. You're gonna to get to lie down on the floor on this one. 
So again, nice light jump, step forward, step back, swap feet. So when you step forward, step back, you're alternating the leg each time. So it's only one jump, one step forward, one step back. Just getting into that rhythm. You're halfway through. Your next one's gonna be an alternating jackknife. We've done that. In fact, we may have done it two weeks ago. Um, but we're going into that alternate jackknife where that one leg comes up into a V-sit position as you do a sit-up. And then the next rep, the next leg comes up. So we've got 10 seconds. So it's that up, hands clap behind the legs, up, hands clap behind the legs, up, hands clap behind the legs. Off we go. Let's go. So reach the hands back behind you as you come up. Clap the hands behind your leg. Back up. Clap the hands behind the other leg. This is good. All right, so as we get closer and closer back to outdoor sport, um, think about the demands of your chosen sport. I know most of us are going to be rugby players, whether that is through O2 Touch or through 15s. Um, but if not, you know, if, if you have some other sports, um, I know with some of our members here, we see netball players, see all different sorts of things. Think about the demands of your sport. Think about what they, it'll ask you to do and then try and replicate that now, low intensity. Well, not now, but going from here on in to prepare yourself. Next one's going to be a double jump walkout. So it's like a burpee, but broken down into several different uh, parts. So I'm going to walk out, jump your feet in, jump up, jump your feet back, walk your hands back, jump up, hands down, walk forward, feet in, jump up. So you're essentially doing a walkout where you jump at the back, and then you also do a jump at the front of the mat. So if you're, a, if you're working with a mat, do that. If not, try and have that imaginary mat. Next one's gonna be a low press-up jack. So you're gonna get yourself to the bottom of a press-up. You're gonna hold yourself at the bottom of a press-up and it's gonna be feet out, feet in three times before you come up. So I'll try and demo that both ways. So we'll demo it side on to begin with. 10 seconds left. So again, it'll be a little press up, feet out, feet in three times. Like you're doing a jump and jack, up, down, and again. Off we go, let's go. So again, if you're seeing that from the front, you come into little press up, feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in. Up, down, feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in. Three times before you come up in each press up. So you're trying to hold that bottom position. It's good though. So the good news is that's the end of round one of this one. The bad news is we go straight into round two of it with no rest, zero rest. So we're back to your squat thrust and twist. So back to your squat thrust and twist as your next exercise. That's coming up in, uh, I don't know why I'm looking at that clock. That's coming up in 20 seconds. So again, I'll demo that. So it becomes your squat thrust, knees in, knees out, twist into a side plank, keeping the hips nice and high. Twist to the front, squat thrust. Twist out again. And again, keep your hips up, keep your body in line. Off we go. So squat thrust and twist. Squat thrust and twist. So you go side plank to side plank. With an added squat thrust in between. If anybody's feeling really fancy at the minute, throw in those donkey kick squat thrusts, which we did a few weeks back. But I'm not going to ask anybody. <laughs> Oh, nice. I'm actually getting a couple of people doing them in there. Excellent work. Just make sure you come into. If it's not true, it wasn't here a few weeks ago. Donkey kick, squat thrust. Feet go in and out without touching the floor. So you be in your press up position. Your squat thrust becomes knees in, knees out. Like a donkey kicking. Knees in, knees out. Without touching the floor. It's got to be much more explosive. It's a little bit harder to keep that pressure up. 15 seconds. We're then into that jump lunge. Step forward, step back. That's coming up in five seconds time. So one jump lunge. So spring, step forward, and step back. Ready? Jump lunge. Off we go. Step forward, step back. Jump lunge. Step forward, step back. Jump lunge each time. Quick change of feet. 
You then get your lie down in this block. Your lie down will take you to, um, will take you to your alternate and jackknife. So again, one leg comes up, your hand, your body comes up into a sit up. Clap your hands behind one of your legs, and then on the next rep, do it on the other leg. So you're alternating side. So you still got 20 seconds of that jump lunge. Next one again, reach back as you come up. Clap hands behind one leg. Clap hands behind the other. And you're trying to wrap them together as quickly as you can. We've got seven seconds more. Three, two, one. Let's go. So as you sit up, clap behind the leg. Off we go. Clap behind the leg. So again, try and keep it quite dynamic. Try to avoid the situation. I mean, I said you were lying on your back, but try and avoid the situation where you're lying there, not doing anything. You're just laid there flat on your back. Try and make sure that you keep moving through the reps as quickly as you can. Staying quite dynamic as you go. You're then into that double jump walkout. I'll demo that a bit ahead of time. I was aware I kind of sprung it on you. There's quite a few steps to it, but it's a walkout where you jump at the front and at the back of the movement. So it's a double jump walkout, a double jump walkout. 15 seconds left of your alternate and jackknife. So your double jump walkout, I'll start to demo now. So it's that walkout, feet come in, jump up, feet go out, jump up each time. So start working between those forward and back. Off we go, change over. So jump at the front, jump at the back, jump at the front and jump at the back each time. We haven't got long left. We haven't got long left. We've got this minute. So 45 seconds of this minute plus one more. And we're just going to go into a little bit of a cool down. And like I said, hopefully if I've got my timings right, I'll hand over to Gareth just before eight o'clock. If I haven't quite got my timings right, um, I'll get cut off by Gareth just before eight o'clock. This is good work though, guys. Keep going, 20 seconds left. As you can tell, you should be huffing and puffing. I've demoed about four of these exercises all the way through. You can hear me huffing and puffing through the microphone, I'm sure. I'm realizing I'm looking forward to barbers being open because every time I see myself in a camera or in a mirror, my head's looking more and more round, just disappearing in the hair. Okay, we're coming into that low press up jack. Ready and change. So low press up, chest off the floor, feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in. Three times. When you've done three times, come up, back down, go again. One, two, three, up, down. One, two, three, up, down. This is our last minute. Let's go for it. So again, that low press up is hard to hold. If you can't do that, hold yourself at the top. Do three jacks at the top of the movement. Come down, come up, and then hold at the top again. So that's your alternative for that one. This is at 21 seconds. So Solid Crew could probably tell you how much longer you've got left to go. This is looking good, guys. I know I, I keep looking at that clock for once, it's throwing me off. 10 seconds left to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay, guys, nice work. Nice work. Shortened, uh, shortened session today because um, obviously you got the, um, this uh, candlelit vigil that we, want to, that we want to stop and mark. Um, but before we get to that, we've still got a few minutes before, uh, before Gareth joins us. So we're just going to finish off with a little bit of flexibility. So well done. Grab yourself a drink at this stage. And all I want you to do is you're going to sit yourself on the floor, legs out straight uh, in front of you. And all we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a walk forward, a walk back. We're going to be trying to use your hips as much as you can. So all I want you to do in that position, you're going to try and use your hips to walk backwards. So you may be able to say, I'm walking further away from the camera. And then when you've got back as far as you can, see, can you do the same thing? Walk your hips forward. So you're using the obliques, using the core. You want to make that a bit more of a challenge. Get those hands up into the air. Keep them above your head as you do it. So we're using the obliques, using the hips. It's a really, really nice one. You'll probably be able to feel your glutes quite quickly. Work on this one. And I want you to move forward and move back. We're going to go for another 30 seconds of this one. Another 30 seconds. At the end of that 30 seconds, 
we are going to come into just a hamstring kick. So still 15 seconds, so keep moving forward and back. So again, I'll show you that from the side. So it's just using your hips to walk back. So I'm not using my feet, I'm using my hips to walk backwards each time. Or obviously, same thing, walk in the opposite direction, walking forward with the hips. Okay, you guys, we're coming into a hamstring kick. Lie yourself back onto the floor. One leg bent, one leg straight. Straight leg, want you to come into 10 kicks on each side. So again, that kick up overhead. When you've done roughly 10, what I want you to do is then reach forward, grab your hamstring or grab your calf. If you're super flexible, just about <laughs> grab your toes. But again, it shouldn't be super strained. You should just feel that stretch down through the hamstring. If your leg is vibrating like mad, just ease off the stretch ever so slightly. You should just feel a line of tension down through the hamstring. And then do the same thing on the other side. So leg bent, leg straight, leg that's straight, kick up and overhead 10 times. Roughly 10 times, doesn't need to be exact. Each time, keep quite dynamic. Each time you feel that stretch. And on the 10th one, reach up, grab the calf, lie your head back, relax back into it as much as you can. Legs shouldn't be shaking, shouldn't be vibrating. Just take some of the tension off if that's starting to happen. But keep just enough tension on that you can feel that stretch. Staying on the floor, we're then going to come onto your side into a quad stretch. So I want you to pull one foot up towards the bum, bring the knees together, and push your hips forward towards the floor. So you feel that stretch down through the front of the thigh. Just going to hold this one around about 10 seconds. Keep pushing forward. Bottom leg, you can bend it for stability, or you can just stretch out. It's up to you. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just roll over, foot up towards your bum. You can lie on your hand, you can lie on your arm, whichever feels more comfortable. But knees together, push the hips forward into that stretch. Holding that position. Good, from there we're gonna come into a groin stretch. This is the last one I want to, to focus on. So you want you to bring the soles of your feet together, bring your knees in, and then I want you to hold the sides of your feet. What I want you to do then is just bring your body forward, ease into it, and try and bring your chest forward into that gap in between your knees. As you're doing that, try and push your knees down towards the floor. So in case you missed it at the start, uh, guys, what we are doing, the reason we uh, started a little bit earlier today is we are going to take part uh, in marking the uh, year's anniversary since the lockdown, first lockdown started. Um, I believe Gareth has joined us. Gareth, this is our last, uh, this is our last stretch, last couple of seconds. So at any stage, whenever you want to take over, it's all yours. Brilliant. I'm here. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, late. Had some technical difficulties. Uh, yes, I just wanted to say thank you very much, uh, Neil, for the sessions you've been doing so far. It's been really good to um, uh, really good to have you doing these whilst we've been on lockdown. Um, Not a problem. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, and just really wanted to say. Um, uh, just to commemorate, obviously, the uh, the one year anniversary of COVID and just to remember the people that we've been um, uh, that have been affected by COVID over the last 12 months uh, and thank the guys for being involved uh, online whilst we've not been able to meet uh, each other in person. Uh, I believe we've got, um, I think, a, a, a candle lit, a uh, candle lighting ceremony, I think, a, a candle lighting um, a com com commencement at eight o'clock. Uh, so I will just check the time. Almost there. So yeah, it's just uh, just want to uh, take a few moments to remember those people who've been affected by COVID.
thanks everyone. Um, Neil, I don't know if you want to say anything about the next session. Thanks, Jan. Um, okay, guys, that is that's uh, us done for for tonight. Uh, we will be back again, back at the regular time of, of half seven next week. Um, we will be revisiting some of the strength work that we've done in earlier sessions. So anybody that has tuned in at the very start and helped um, and recorded some of their strength work, try and dig out whatever scrap of paper you wrote your results on, because we'll be revisiting that, and hopefully you'll see some uh, significant improvements on on where you were. Um, a few uh, two months back when we when we first started this block of uh, lockdown sessions. But for tonight, guys, thank you as always uh, for for joining in, guys from the Spartans, guys from all the other IGR teams um, around the UK, and also guys from Pyramid Performance, uh, my very own uh, very own gym as well. Thank you for thank you for joining in, and I will see you uh, next Tuesday. Thanks, Neil. Bye. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Bye, Neil. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Neil. Bye. I think definitely um, come along. You definitely want to find a club that um, trains women and kind of focuses on um, helping everyone improve. And I really think that the Spartans does that. Um, we get kind of individual feedback, but also I feel like I'm always learning. So I would say don't worry about it. Come along. O2 Touch is one of those um, things that it is really fun and really casual, but there's also the opportunity to be a bit more competitive if you want to. But if you just want to have a runabout, you can do that as well. So I think, yeah, definitely give it a go.